A scientist came up with a device that can be used to detect sexual assault, and wouldn't you know it, people are freaking out about it. It's called the Intrepid, and it was invented by an MIT researcher by the name of, I forget her name, Manisha Mohan. This is how it works. Basically, you attach that to a garment, and you wear it for a while. It connects to your cell phone, and it has a microchip, and it does some calculations. I don't know how this works, but basically, it can detect, and it can interpret movement, the way you take a bra off or whatever, and it knows when you're doing it yourself and when somebody else is touching your body. When the device detects what it thinks is unwanted sexual contact, it touches base with your phone, and then the app sends a message to five people you trust to let people know that you're in trouble. Now, that's how it works. The tech is a little bit janky, but that's how these things usually first start. She's a researcher, she's not exactly a designer. She's not an engineer, from what I can tell, so it's it's a prototype. I'm not sure how effective this would be in the real world, but it's good that people are coming up with solutions that make people safer. Some people were outraged by this, as tweeted, uh, what's her name? I, I can't remember names today. Go Gabby? I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce that. This is how creative scientists have to get because the law won't hold you piece of shit man accountable. 79,000 people have shared uh, Gabby's sentiment and uh, it echoes something that I've seen many times before on social media. We have to teach men not to rape. I don't understand why people are that upset. It's something that is designed to help people be safer. This is no different the way I see it from door locks or uh, a bike lock or uh, credit card fraud protection services or having a password on your email. This is just to prevent bad people from getting access to something you didn't consent them to have access to. Of course, in an ideal world, we shouldn't have to have something like credit card protection. We shouldn't have to lock our cars. We shouldn't have to wear a seatbelt. This discussion, I think, people are talking about two different things. We have idealists who say, no woman should be raped. Of course, nobody can disagree with that. But that's the same thing as saying cancer shouldn't exist. Unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. Bad people will do bad things regardless of how many times you tell them not to do them. And I think our society made it pretty clear that rape is fucking horrible. Think about this. Convicts, people who are in prison. These are the worst people among us. I guess not technically among us. We put them away for that very reason. But even among that population, you know what they do to rapists? Let me just say they're not the most most popular people in prison. I think that is a pretty good example of, yeah, I think we made it very clear across the board, rape is very wrong. And again, this echoes that sentiment that I've seen many times on the internet. We should teach men not to rape. Again, I think a, a pretty good point could be made that we, we, we're trying. We're at, at the very least trying. I understand your point. When you say that this tech shouldn't have to exist, it's terrible. It's a testament of how shitty this world is, that this is a thing. I get that. But that's the same as, I don't know, metal detectors at the airport. I wish 9-11 hadn't happened. I wish this wasn't what we have to go through when we get on a plane, but this is the world we live in. We have to deal with it as it is. My point is this, in an ideal world, yeah, let's say, Chemotherapy shouldn't have to exist. Unfortunately, cancer is a thing. And anything that makes people feel safer, anything that may potentially help put a rapist in prison is better than that not happening. This is the thing that whoever, this Gabby person, they said, uh, the law won't hold you piece of shit men accountable. And I think she's missing a very important point about the law, about due process. We need evidence to convict people. The more evidence we have that somebody raped somebody, the better. But that's what I think. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this. If it's your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing, dropping a like. I make these videos maybe once a week. I know, I think I said twice a week last time. I lied, forget that. Once a week, let's do that. That's more doable. And that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done. You know what? I'll give him that. I understand it's it's got to be frustrating as a woman to this this is this is how you feel safer going out in the world. You have to put all these fucking bluetooth fucking sensors, walk around like fucking RoboCop to feel a little bit safer. It's shitty. I get it. I you know what, Gabby? I get it. But trust me, as a man, I'm I can only speak for I mean, I can't speak for men, but I'm speaking as a man. We were told many times you're not supposed to rape people. I I'm not sure who's telling you. We we haven't been told that. We have. It, it's because there's shitty people who don't listen. That's the problem.